Yeah, we're, we're all aware of the changing um, lending environment and all the changing rules, but Ross touched on earlier the um, change to the credit reporting, and that's probably the main thing that's happening right now um, is the positive credit reporting where NAB are on board, all the lenders are coming on board. In the next couple of months, majority of lenders will be on board with um, positive um, credit reporting. So I know that you've already had a bit of a run in with that. Um, do you want to run us through, I guess, some examples of um, conduct and, and the fact, and maybe just explain conduct now and, and why it's so important with um, debt? So more important than ever now that with the comprehensive credit reporting, we're wanting to make sure we put up quality deals to the lenders to make sure that when we come back with um, more questions asked, it can make the um, file more complicated. So looking at clients' existing debts like credit cards, personal loans, if they've got any existing mortgages, just making sure they're in time with their payments. If they've got a sort of a lax attitude and they've had missed payments or their account's overdue, these things can all sort of fall into sort of the bad side of getting a loan, I suppose. Um, especially also when they've got less deposit and doing high LVR loans, they're buying certain types of properties in certain suburbs. And if you've only got one or two options with lenders, you want to make sure that this isn't going to be the reason why they're not going to get the loan based on bad conduct. So we've had examples of clients who kind of, when I'm having a conversation with them, they always ask me, oh, do you think I'm good to get the money? I said, I will help you, but I am not the bank. Therefore, we need to double check um, all their statements, any undisclosed debts, and it's creating more work, but I'd rather spend the extra 10 minutes, 15 minutes going through to make sure that we submit a quality deal so we get a good outcome for our clients. Yeah, I guess that's a thing. In the past, lenders wouldn't even ask for some bank statements, your savings statements. They would never ask for it a couple of years ago. Now they want them and they want to go through them with a fine tooth comb. So they're looking for payments, you know, direct debits that come out every month. They're looking for payment to a credit card that's not disclosed. They're, they're looking for these types of things and then they're looking for the conduct on it. But I guess with the positive credit reporting, they actually won't need to look because it'll be on your credit report, all the debts that you've had and 24 months worth of payments on them. So your your actual um, your living expenses and your, and your declaration for, for debts um, is more important now than ever um, that that's correct because all the lenders will come back and be able to see exactly where you're at and what they've debts you've got. They've actually got on the credit report now for the 24 months conduct if you've been late with anything you've got a 14 day grace period to make the payment. If you sort of pass that 14 days you get a one on the score and then you get a two if you're over 30 days and a three if you're over 30 days. So I guess it's a good lesson to sort of check your credit file if you are going to apply for credit to see where you're at at the current moment, see what your score is, what can you do to improve. If you are planning to do something in the next couple of months, if there are some living expenses or undisclosed debts or something that you're unaware of, probably best to sort of close up those limits um, and try and create a cleaner profile for yourself so you put your best foot forward moving. Because there's no hiding information anymore with the lenders. So it's just really imp important that you take that um, proactive approach to looking at yourself first before you make that application. I've heard that they're looking as far and as deep into all the transactions you make with Sportsbet. Yeah, uh, I saw some funny things of a, as a poor person who unfortunately couldn't get a loan because they had doing a couple, it was race season, you know, I suppose spring, spring carnival and there was a bit more betting going on during that time so they questioned him quite a bit I think.